So there are steps to build this custom keyword as a plugin. The first one to create uh, a custom keywords in a Catalan studio is this. You need to uh, create a Catalan plugin.json file with the following content. So this particular Catalan plugin.json file is a new file that you're going to be adding within your existing keywords folder of your Catalan studio project. And then as you see here, this is a JSON file and that's why you see that uh, that brace is there. And there is a keywords colon MFA dot read MFA. So you can ask me, what is this guy? MFA read MFA? Well, MFA dot read MFA is the package name. The read MFA is the class name. MFA is the package name. So I'm just going to define that this is the keyword that I'm going to be exporting from this particular class from this particular package. So that's what it is. The MFA dot read MFA, uh, which is going to be something that I'm going to be packaging up as a keyword within the Catalan Studio plugin. And then we need to create a build.gradle file with the commands to package this uh, keyword as a plugin. And again, this build.gradle file has a lot of commands that we'll be discussing uh, not now. I'll be showing that in my screen and I will show you, I will quickly walk you through like how it looks like. And once the build.gradle file is ready, you need to then run the Gradle uh, Catalan plugin package command which creates a jar file and then because the stores won't accept the jar files you need to zip it up and then you need to upload into the Catalan store and then uh, you can consume that from there but you cannot just uh, put everything in the Catalan store in one shot because you just go through a lot of review process Catalan team will go through your uh, plugin they check the code uh, and then they will uh, make it available for the public but before that if you want to test it out in your own local machine you can take the jar file and you can put that particular jar file in the plugins folder of any other consuming project because this is a jar file that you're using to build a plugin and then you should have another project which is going to consume the jar file let's say you're going to be sharing that to the community and that particular project you can open the plugin folder and then you can place this jar file and then you can start using that i hope it all makes sense now so as i said the build.gradle file so how is that uh, build.gradle file is gonna uh, look like and uh, how it's actually been built so this is the uh, build.gradle file which the Catalan Studio team uh, has mentioned. It is there in their own GitHub repo. So you can just go there and you can see how the uh, build.gradle file is currently available. It's exactly the same thing, but I just changed a little bit here. I'll quickly show you that as well. So you can see it has a plugins. It has some repositories and you can see there are some repositories from where it is coming from. And there are some dependencies, uh, there are some source sets, and there is a jar that you need to exclude. And then this is the uh, this is the Catalan's dependency prefix. So whatever that you package up, it's gonna have this particular dependency into the particular jar file, right? So this is the build.gradle file uh, that uh, we are gonna be creating within our project to have any one of your uh, Catalan Studios uh, custom plugin. Uh, into uh, a plugin itself. So you may be wondering like where is this particular uh, project is coming from? Well, if you see all these demonstration that we'll be doing today is going to come from this uh, GitHub repo, github.exitautomation.com slash catalan two factor auth.git. So if you just go to the uh, Chrome browser and if you search for uh, GitHub execute automation, and if you just go all the way to the repositories, you may be requiring to download uh, two repositories. One is the application, which does the two-factor authentication. Uh, it's a .NET Core based app. That's what I'm gonna be showing in today's demo. And then uh, you need to download this Catalan two-factor auth uh, repo as well. So as you can see, this is something we discussed pretty long time before, and it has a keyword uh, like MFA and it has this uh, read MFA GUI. So now you uh, start to make you sense like what is this read MFA coming from, right? So it's coming from MFA 
read MFA. And that's exactly what we discussed in the uh, in the slide before. If you recollect the keyword MFA, read MFA is coming from this particular uh, namespace uh, or the package name, sorry. Uh, and then you will have this particular core up and running uh, and make sure that if your uh, secret is going to be different, you, you need to have that particular secret. As you can see, I have hard coded the uh, TOTP secret in here. So you may need to uh, change the secret while you use that. I just copy pasted my own secret based on what it is uh, generating. All right. So as that said, uh, I'm just going to use this particular repo. I have already cloned that and it is currently available in my machine and then we'll pick it up from there. So this is Catalan Studio and you can see that I have already cloned that. It's in my demo folder and this is the two-factor auth. I tried to execute this code and it is actually working fine uh, just to make sure we are not messing up anything during the demonstration. So I'm just trying to run this again and you can see that it opens the browser, it logs in, enters the username and password, it enters the auth code and the auth code is something which is coming from this particular method, the custom keyword dot MFA dot read MFA dot get MFA token. So this get MFA token is something which is coming from this particular uh, Groovy file, this particular custom keyword from this particular method, get MFA token. And then the quest of today is, is to make this particular custom keyword that we have, that we have been using all these days in Catalan Studio as a plugin and then upload that in the Catalan store. So you can see that I already uploaded that one, but I will quickly show you like how it looks like. Uh, so the first thing is I'm going to open this particular uh, project within Visual Studio Code. So you may be wondering like, why do we need to recreate really do that you can actually create a file much easily uh, in the folder structure as of now which is really really uh, handy as well so i'm just going to open this particular projects in the containing folder i'm going to go to this particular folder uh, or maybe this project and then i'm going to use uh, open visual studio code to start creating whatever we discussed in the step by step in our slide so I'm just going to put that guy over there. All right. So the first thing, as I said, we need to have uh, a file called Catalan plugin.json file in this particular folder. So I'm just going to create a new file and I'm going to call this as Catalan plugin.json. And this particular JSON file is going to have the content based on our keyword. So again, the keyword, you should have this particular uh, read MFA and the package name, which is nothing but the MFA. So I'm just going to go over here and then I'm going to create this keywords. And I'm going to say MFA dot read MFA. Oops. And I'm afraid I'll create MFA again. Oh my God. Okay. So this is the thing that we need to be typing over here for this particular uh, project. Uh, and then we need to add a build.gradle file, which is going to hold all of this stuff. But before that, the one thing which I need to show you is because this particular read MFA actually uses a third party TOTP jar file, you also need to include this jar file within your own custom plugin. So you may be uh, creating a different uh, custom keyword plugins uh, for your project in future. By the time you may be consuming many different jar files, which is not something available within Catalan Studio. So you need to make sure that you need to, uh, you add those as a dependency within your project. So as you can see, I have this arrow gear OTP Java uh, 1.0 CR 1.jar file. I just put that intentionally over there because uh, Catalan need to use that. But during the build process, we need to make sure that we add it as a dependency in the build.gradle file because build.gradle file can directly pull that from the repositories. It's very easy for us to do right now instead of just uh, copy pasting the jar file, which is cool. 
So I'm just going to go here and I'm going to create a new file. And I'm going to call this as build.gradle. And within this build.gradle, I'm going to copy paste pretty much everything that we just saw before, but just that I will walk you down what is each and everything doing. So this is the plugins uh, where you're going to add the ID of uh, Java, Groovy, and these are some of the required files, uh, uh, plugins that you need to have, the namespaces that you need to have uh, for your uh, building process, and then the repositories. So you can see that I just put this particular uh, Maven URL in here for the Aero OTP Java. So there should be some better way as well, but I just did some rough way of uh, doing that. Uh, I just copy pasted this URL and this is where this particular uh, jar file is actually coming from. And then they also added the J central and Maven central. That's where most of the uh, dependencies actually sitting. And then uh, you can see the dependencies. This is the only dependency I really have in my whole uh, custom keywords. That's why it is sitting in here. And then the source set where you are saying that the source directory is keywords folder, this one, and include the scripts slash groovy. So whichever is there, just include all of them. And it also includes uh, all of the files over here. And then you're going to exclude some of the uh, temporary class files because sometimes it, it creates some of the temporary files where you keep on running that. Uh, so you need to exclude that. And then you're going to add the dependency uh, prefix with com.catlon uh, because that's what uh, it makes more authentic during the review process as well. So this is the build.gradle file. It's kind of very, very simple. Maybe it will uh, be extended even further uh, in, in, in due course of releases. But as of now, this is what you have with the latest release version. So you can see that I added this build.gradle file and this uh, Catalan plugin, uh, Catalan plugin JSON file. So both of them are sitting in here. The next thing is we need to bundle this up and uh, create a jar file. So for doing that, I'm just going to open a command prompt. So make sure you actually have a Gradle installed in your uh, in your machine. I have already installed that. Uh, and also I have set the environment variable with the home path and all those stuff. So uh, that's something you need to be doing before you run this particular command. So you can see uh, the Gradle version, uh, what I'm running. It's 5.2.1 and it works pretty fine. So I'm just going to do the Gradle of uh, Catalan plugin package. Uh, so this is the command that you need to be running for uh, your uh, package to be created within this uh, within this particular project. And it seems like it's currently running, starting the Gradle daemon. And you might have seen that there are some new folders being created while I run this particular stuff. And the build got succeeded as well. So the new folder is nothing but this particular build folder. And in this build folder, you actually have this lips folder. And this is the jar file. So I'll just copy this particular file. And we can just put this particular file into our consuming project this time. And we'll quickly see how it works. And I'm just going to delete that. I'll paste this guy here. And let me also open the Catalan Studio. And we'll try to see if it really works. So basically, this is the idea for creating the, uh, the plugin from the custom keywords that we have already written and we have used all these days uh, in the Catalan Studio. And it's kind of very, very easy uh, to develop and to share among the community. All right, seems like it's coming over here. And now we don't really have the package of the MFA. It's already gone. You saw that. And I'll try to run this in Chrome and we'll see if it really works. Ooh. Error exists in the project.
yep it's working all right so this is how we can create this particular uh, custom package and we can use that uh, as a custom keyword as a plugin in catalan studio while using uh, the basic very very simple build commands uh, build.gradle file that we have and we can also leverage the power of this particular catalan plugin even further by creating our own uh, plugins which we have not discussed yet but the catalan plugin platform will even enhance the way that we are doing because currently that we have this custom keyword as a plugin doesn't really have any ui or you can even add that because it is not consuming any one of the libraries or listeners and things of that nature which is the core behavior of the catalan uh, we are not consuming any one of that that's why we don't see anything in the changes in the ui but if you want to extend the capability of catalan plugins you can see these kinds of stuffs coming in within your catalan and then you can do stuffs much easily and all these ui enabling stuffs can be extended using the files that we have created in the particular project so again that's going to be like a maven a java maven project we can do that from there